Is it permissible to make, permissible to make a dua in English during your ruku, sujood, shahud, etc.? <clears throat> if not, then in Arabic, uh, must you make a dua that is reported from the Quran and the Sunnah? So the general rule here is, <clears throat> in your prayer, you cannot make a dua in English or any other language. It should be in Arabic. If you do, would it invalidate the prayer? That depends on the type of dua. I'll, co I'll cover that next. But it would be sinful. It would be sinful to make a dua in other languages. So just stick to Arabic and stick to what you've memorized, right? <coughs> um, as for the du'as in the prayer, let's say, let's say you know Arabic, the du'as in the prayer, um, what can you ask for in the prayer? You can ask for things that only Allah would, would be asked for, right? So if you wanted to marry so and so, you could go ask her dad, Can I marry your daughter? So in that situation, you don't ask Allah for it in the prayer. So ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things that matter in for your deen in this life and in the akhirah, right? So the du'as of the Prophet, Allahumma kfirli, warhamni, wa'afini, warfa'ni, you know, these sorts of du'as, <clears throat> they're all excellent. And you can add these into your uh, prayer, no problem. It's it's better to do it in your sunnah prayers and, uh, and the nafil prayers and not in the fard. As the ulama say, um, if you're if you're an imam, don't do it. If you're an imam, don't do these uh, prayers, lest you make a mistake, invalidate the prayer, and then it affects everyone else. Right. Um, so anything that can be asked uh, from people, you don't ask for, for that thing in the prayer. You can end the prayer and raise your hands and ask exactly that. You know what people can give as well. You can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it, and you should actually. That's fine, but we're talking about within the prayer, so this is how it works. <laughs>